Hi, it's JC at Motorcycle Superstore and welcome to our holiday gift guide for tools under 50 bucks. These are awesome gifts to give. Having the right tool is going to make everyone's life a lot easier. It doesn't matter if you're a street, dirt, cruiser, ATV, any kind of power sports enthusiast. Now, these are really easy to give as well because you can wrap them up or you can just throw them in the stocking stuffer. A lot of them are pretty small items, but we'll talk about what they offer in terms of staying at home in the garage and also some of these items that are designed to go on your trip with you. We'll kick it off from Motion Pro. A few items over here, starting up with the T-handles set of T-handles should be a basic for any mechanic at home. This one's going to have the most common metric sizes. It runs from 8mm up to 19. Having the dedicated T-handle speeds things up so much. So if you're doing a lot of wrenching, this is the way to go. Get a little rack organizer, keep them nice and clean. That works out very, very well. Another thing from Motion Pro for dirt guys that you really need to be paying attention to is a sag scale. This is their folding sag scale and if you're not adjusting your sag, you need to be. Learn how to do it and get a tool like this because it makes all the difference. It sets up your chassis, it sets up your suspension, it's critical. Now what I like about this is that it's a nice aluminum material. The adjustment point down here is where it sticks into your axle. So you can raise or lower that, zero it out, and then you read the scale up top and you don't have to do any math. There's no subtraction. It just tells you exactly, either in metric or in standard measurements, how much you're sagging. It's really easy to use this. The next tool we'll talk about is also from Motion Pro. It's this little hex axle tool. It runs from 17 to 24 millimeters and it essentially converts your standard ratchet, it's going to run off a 3 8 inch drive, into a hex tool. So it's going to pull those axles out of your street bikes or your dirt bikes. These are the most common size. Really nice thing to have on hand as well. One more from Motion Pro before we move on. That's this little guy up front. This is going to be a chain press. It works for 520, 525, and 530 size chains. And if you have those, you need to press the backing plate on. This little tool does it very easily. Some quick adjustments, it comes with the hex wrench as well, all you need to tighten things down. It does work with chains that are using O-rings. Nice to have, small, lightweight, inexpensive, don't miss out on it. All right, so some of the other things on the table. Back here along the back edge, this is a pretty cool wrench. This is from Baron, it's called their Ultra Wrench. And what it does is it gives you the option of having an adjustable style wrench without having all that slop that typically comes with the crescent. So these little tiny pieces fold in and out. There's lots of different measurements. And the thing that I like about this is it stays at home or goes with you in your saddlebag. Fold it up, it's got a locking bar in the center so when you unfold it, it's gonna be nice and secure. It comes with its own carrying case as well. You can get this in standard or metric sizes. So whatever you're looking for, it's got you covered. Next up from Bike Master is this little thing in front. And this is very cool. Basically what it does is it converts a standard ratchet into a torque wrench. So that's what they call their digital torque adapter and it's going to be available with a quarter inch, three eighths or half inch drive. But once you put it onto your wrench, now you have a digital readout that tells you how much you're torquing things down. It's got a storage function so you can save your torque readings and, and refer back to those. A really cool little product, much smaller than having the entire torque wrench in your box and it comes with this handy little carrying case. Now this is a funnel, everybody needs one of those. MSR makes them pretty nice because these are going to be nice and clean. They actually call it their clean funnel. It's got a cap on both ends so it's very easy to keep gunk from getting in and out of these. Every time I go to use my funnel at home, I gotta wipe it out because it's collected dust and dirt and other crap. This thing keeps it a lot cleaner. This is the pint size you're looking at. They make them in all different sizes. So depending on how big you want to go, there are multiple options available. Now this up front, this is from Bike Master also. This is their oil filter strap wrench. And it's kind of like some of these we talked about. It converts your standard ratchet into another tool. So it runs off of a half inch drive. So you could have to either adapt up or have a half inch ratchet. But either way, you cinch this thing down, you put it around your oil filter, and as you tighten it, it will start to crank it off or on depending on which way you want to go. It can make things a lot easier. I don't know how many times I've tried to grab an oil filter and you can't get a good grip on it so that thing's handy to have. All right next up this is something that every dirt bike rider should own myself included I don't know why I don't have one yet this is from Hardline it's their fender bench and essentially what it does is it sits right on the back fender it's got a universal strap underneath with velcro to keep it in place and it organizes all the little parts that you're working with it holds tools these little things on the on the side are perfect for t-handles um, Anytime I'm working on my bike, I find myself resting the nuts and bolts on the seat or on the fender, and it's a bad idea because they fall off, you get them lost all the time. This organizes it, keeps it very straightforward. I really, really like this little product. And finally, for anybody who's doing a brake job, you're gonna want one of these. This is from Bike Master. It's their brake bleeder kit. It hooks up to an air source. So if you have a compressor in your shop, this thing makes it very easy. Some of the nicer features on it include the fact that it works for both front and rear systems at the same time. It's gonna split off. It's got a little T-junction. If you only wanna do one at a time, it comes with the adapter for that. You slip this thing in there and you can do that very easily. But it offers quite a bit of functionality. The air pressure takes all that pumping work out of it, bleeds your brakes very sufficiently. The catch tank here is gonna 
gonna hold plenty of fluid. It's easy to screw off, easy to dispose of, and very easy to clean as well. If you like some of these products, leave me some comments. If you got some other ideas in mind that you'd like to see, or if you wanna share them with other people because they make great gifts, you can do that as well. But check out our other holiday videos we're making, and if you don't like what you've seen here, there's always gift cards as well. Don't forget that. But subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product videos.